ladies and gents. As you probably already saw from the title, today's video is actually a sponsored one, though I'm quite sure that this one will be of interest to a lot of you out there. So, how about if I told you that you can actually win real cash, in-game and physical prizes just by playing World of Tanks with no extra effort? Well, that's pretty much what the esports tournament platform Poundwin is all about, and in this video I will tell you exactly what you should and what you shouldn't expect from it, what is free and what is paid, and what to watch out for if you want to give it a go in general. First of all though, heads up! This service unfortunately is only available for the European, North American and Russian servers at the moment, so sorry about that Asia and Korean servers, I'm afraid at the moment you can't participate in this one. Also please be advised that while free events can be joined by everyone, paid competitions have an age requirement of 18 plus. Now to give you the short version about what the site can actually do for you, this Austrian company right now offers quite a few free and paid tournaments and challenges in a variety of competitive online games, including among others World of Tanks, League of Legends and Counter-Strike GO. World of Tanks by the way seems to have the largest current player pool of them all on the site. At the time of making this video, well over 18,000 players were competing with each other, so it already has a quite healthy community. The core model of the site is that people participate in competitions, aka challenges and tournaments, I will explain the difference in a second, where the system actually tracks your in-game performance and ranks you against the other players in the same event via its own point system. It's an important difference then to the pro tournament scene that you don't actually go face to face against other players or teams, instead your own performance during your regular random battles is that's being rewarded. When the event is completed, the prize pool is divided between the top players, for free events it's usually the top 200 and for paid events it's usually the top 50% that gets a share of the loot. Now the system automatically fetches your results every time you log out of the game, so you don't need to lift even a finger other than clicking the join button in the beginning and then playing as usual, as easy as it gets really. That said, let's see what kind of competitions you can join for World of Tanks right now. The easiest way to do so is go under my games slash World of Tanks slash challenges that will list all available challenges for you for that game only. As you can see the free challenges are on the top and the cash entries are listed on the bottom. All basic information is available at first glance, the start and the end time of the challenge, the number of entries, the entry fee, if any at all, the total price pool and the payout bracket. The prizes for me are in Hungarian forint, but I can tell you that the total price pool is roughly up to 40 euros on the free challenges and up to about 440 euros on the paid ones, at least at this very moment. Now, those of you with sharp eyes probably already noticed that under the challenge names there is also a W and 8 bracket that you need to fulfill to be able to join. This requirement is there to ensure that you will compete against players of similar skill level to make it as fair as possible. There are systems in place to weed out any smurfing attempts and players caught red-handed will face a permanent ban to keep the playing field nice and tidy. By the way, the free events are often called like one of the maps in the game like Lakeville, Stalingrad or Himmelsdorf, but this is only there to distinguish between the W and H requirements as well, it doesn't mean that you have to play on a specific map only. Also, typically the higher the skill requirement, ergo the tougher the crowd, the better the payouts as well. Now if we click any of them, we will see the actual details that I always suggest reading before signing up. On the left you will see the general description and the rules for the event, while on the right you will see the payout brackets, both for the crash prizes and the ladder points, more on that later, followed by the scoring card. This is your typical scoring for this game. As you can see, different amounts of points are rewarded after wins, frags, surviving the battle, spotting enemy tanks and dealing damage, while losses, throws and receiving damage reduces your score. The system will calculate then an average score of your battles played during the event, and you will see the current ranking of each player in the event on the bottom of the screen. Now I have a couple of comments about this actually. First of all, I think it would be great if the system would actually score you after the assisted damage instead of just spotting the tanks, which isn't necessarily as useful for your team. 
You also should be aware that you will be typically earning small amounts. Like here for example, from the about 40 euro total prize pool, the top 200 people will receive a payout, with the person on the top receiving about 4 euros and the people in the bottom bracket receiving about 10 cents. Now pay challenges are giving you up to about 10 euros in prizes for finishing on top, while their entry fees range from 25 cents to 5 euros on the larger events. So all in all, don't expect massive payouts after a single good placement. That said, you also don't really have to risk a lot in the first place, if anything at all. Now, other than the challenges, you can of course also participate in tournaments. Again, both free and paid are an option, though at the time of the recording I have to say only free tournaments were available. Now these are very similar to the challenges, are however consisting of several separate rounds. If we click any of them, we will see that the players are actually sorted in smaller groups, and half of them will be eliminated in each round. Rounds last for about a day, with the tournament typically ending on the fourth day. If you are playing daily anyway, this can actually be quite a nice additional excitement to your usual grind. Placing well in challenges or tournaments is not the only way to win though. You are actually automatically entered in a couple of monthly ladders as well. This includes the World of Tanks monthly ladder, on which you will be ranked based on all those ladder points you collected earlier with your placements and where you can win different amounts of gold for the game. You are also entered automatically in the general monthly ladder, where you are purely rewarded for your activity, from daily logins to competition participation throughout the month regardless of how well you did in them. And finally you also have the Refer a Friend ladder, where you can receive additional rewards if you brought your friends as well on board in addition to receiving a bonus if they add funds to their account. And that's still not all. Vests and raffles are also available for everyone, where you can actually win gift cards, gaming gear and even a monster alienware configuration just by simply playing enough times in free or paid competitions. The winners are chosen at random, so it doesn't matter how well you did in them, you will still qualify for these. By the way, if you manage to accumulate some winnings over the recent competitions, you can either cash out for a small fee, use it to enter paid competitions for larger price pools, or you can also spend it in the marketplace, where you can purchase in-game currency, in-game items including some premium tanks and various gift cards. By the way, if you want to spend it on World of Tanks loot, please do make sure to buy the package that's available for your server. Right, this was then a small overview on the basics with Poundwin. If you feel like giving it a go, there is a link waiting for you in the description. Registration is quick, and after that you only need to link your World of Tanks account by going to My Account slash Game IDs and clicking Connect. This will bring you to the usual login page with the World of Tanks API, and you will have to give the site access to your in-game battle result and statistics. After this one-time procedure, you are good to go to sign up in some free competitions, with a maximum of one running at a time, and an unlimited number of paid competitions. So, conclusion, what do I think of it? Well, honestly, I quite like the system they built here, which is super easy to use. And since all the paid competitions are fully optional, I really see no harm in giving it a shot. Now, of course, the usual disclaimer applies. If you are thinking about spending some real money, don't risk anything that would hurt if you would lose it. Also just a reminder, real money competitions are strictly 18+. plus. So I hope I could give you a good overview on what to expect here, give it a shot if you feel like it, and if you are already a user, by all means, let us know about your experience in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and I already look forward to seeing you again in one of the next videos.